Welcome to another Katia V5 Imagination video. I want to show how important this VN selection mode option is in, in within this workbench. So if I'm going to toggle this, you're going to see that the icon will slightly change. So currently now we have that blue sphere within the cube. If I will click it once, so mainly the, um, let's say, those um, cube edges will be a little bit different. So it's a little bit hard to see since that pictogram isn't changing a lot, but let's see what are the, the changes when we click on that. I will define a primitive, so a sphere over here. And now, as we can see, we have those dashed lines over here. They are not white. That means that if I try to do a trap selection, the elements in the back won't be selected. So if I will hold down shift, I will do a rectangle that will fit all the geometry. We're going to see that if I try to move this, not all the points will be moved. So I will redo that, as we can see now. And we still have that one point that won't be selected. One of the workarounds would be to rotate around the model, hold down control, have that also selected, and now we can start move everything. But if you encounter this problem, keep in mind that you can change it over here from the view and selection mode. If I will click this once again, I will see the outline with white. Now, even if I will do a new selection, for example, on this point, and afterwards, again, I will hold down shift, do a trap selection to frame everything. Do that once again, because I see that the points on the bottom haven't been selected. And now if I try to manipulate the object, I will see that all the elements will be selected. So this is really important. Keep in mind, if you are having problems with some vertices that are not being uh, selected, this is the reason the view and selection mode is not checked. And I also want to talk about real and projected base mesh. I highly recommend that you use the default option, which is the outline cube in this case. If I will go for the other one, for the projected mesh, we're going to see that in order to control the points, I need to select directly those uh, points over here. So we don't have that control cage around the object we make use of the projected base mesh. It's a bit harder to work with this. Again, I can do that shift selection to grab everything. In this case, I will move the, <coughs> sorry, the primitive. But if I will go to view and selection mode once again, do another selection, we're going to see that one point won't be selected. Therefore, the object will deform if I try to translate it since one of those objects won't be selected and moved. Keep in mind that this has three toggles. As we can see, I clicked it once again and we are still within view and selection mode. And over here, that one edge will still remain unse unselected. So I need to click it once again. And now we have those white lines. Therefore, we can move those. So I recommend that you use the real um, base mesh by default and also have this checked for the view and selection mode in order to select even the objects that are not visible. And as you can see, if I rotate around the model, now we're going to have that point uh, dashed with, um, with the dashed lines. So depending on how you view the object and this works also for uh, more advanced shapes not only for uh, for the primitives okay so if you find this video useful i will position a similar video over here to the left and a subscribe button to the right thanks for watching